Hi! I'm back. Let's do this shit. Let me adjust your my drone. Drone adjusted. I had a good weekend. I still don't know where to point. There. Good weekend. I told you. I was going to formulate a plan. And, I, and it finally fucking worked. I finally had a good weekend. Hi, Mom! Mom is here. My wife. Yeah, so, uh... Went to some places that I've never fucking hit before. And really, they weren't that far away. I don't know why I haven't been doing it. But, um... You gotta think outside the box sometimes to uh, to find the fucking good stuff. And that's what I did. And it paid off. Paid off in fucking spades. I got crazy stuff. Do you see the twinkle in my eyes? <laughs> I'm excited. I've just been sitting here cleaning stuff and like uh, rubbing it on my cock. That's how much I love this stuff. It sexually excites me. <laughs> Let's get right to it! Shall we? Where to start? I'm not doing the hand thing this week. This I've always wanted, and I've seen it out in the wild at thrift stores. Um, it's usually, you know, like, it was just too much. It's not really that hard to find. Um, usually they're overpriced and kind of fucked up. And, uh, because, you know, kids played with them. And they, like, put their fucking sticky candy hands all over them and ruined it. Ruined it for us infantile adult collectors for later years. I found this at one of those fucking squirrely thrift stores out in redneck country where nobody fucking checks except for this asshole, me. So yeah, two bucks. I mean, it's Vincent Price, so it's horror related. It's the game, game Hangman. I've always wanted to get a copy of this. Just, just because of the fucking cover. Look at the man. People that don't know, uh, Vincent Price later in life. I just bumped the camera. It's still attached to the drone. So I have to be careful. The thing's worth a lot of money. Um, Vincent Price later in life, when he was gray... And not doing so many horror movies and stuff. Uh, he would endorse anything. Literally anything. If you had a check, he was on board. And uh, he would do it. So, like, I mean, you can find Vincent Price on pretty much anything. I went late 70s, I think. Eight, early 80s. Um, the Shrunken Heads. This. I think he had, like... A line of diapers, maybe. I don't know. But, like, a lot of shit that he was involved in. But this game's cool. I remember the commercials as a kid, vaguely. It's 1976. I mean, that's old for me. Um, thanks to my lovely wife. Hi, Mom. Uh, she went through and counted, and we have confirmed that all of the game pieces are here. It's completely intact and in good shape. Look at the box. Two dollar. That's a good place to start. Not a movie, but it's Vincent Price, so suck a cock. I'm showing it anyway. So my wife dragged me to uh, a god-awful repurposed foofy schmoofer fucking furniture place that made fucking shit out of, like, uh, old wood and trees and whatnot, like, fucking... $80 for a fucking ashtray. Just like retarded fucking expensive. Um, 
So we're going through there. I'm just miserable as fuck. They got these really obnoxious fucking signs up that say, like, you can't take pictures or videos of any of their stuff. Just dick. Dick move. Why? Who cares? I'm going to steal your fucking, your valuable fucking designs. <laughs> Suck it. So that just irritated me, and it was all overpriced and fancy fucking hipster, or like, uh, Shabby chic, yuppie bullshit, as we say here, as I say here on this video. Um, so I was irritated. I didn't like the place. Uh, I didn't like the hippie fucking homos that were running it. But um, I saw fucking I saw stacks of fucking vinyl like out of the blue, and I was like, where there's vinyl. There could be fucking movies or other stuff. So, uh, walked around a corner. There was a fucking shabby chic fucking shelf. And it was jam full of fucking stacks of old comic books. Yeah. <laughs> so, just based on, I mean, before I even got excited, I was just like, how much are these? Because, like, what are you going to charge? Is it, are they, like, 20 bucks a piece? They were in bad shape. And, but the place was so overpriced that I just assumed they would be too. I went up and asked. One dollar a piece. One dollar a piece. So it was worth my time to go through them and see what I could find. And I found some good shit for a dollar. And I'm going to show you right now. Some horror related stuff, some not. Werewolf by Night. Number one, 20 cents. Now, like I said, these are in terrible shape. Um, but just the fact that they were out there for a dollar each. Yeah, thanks, honey. My wife just called me an asshole. I prefer that. Um, yeah, just, you know, the covers are ripped. They're water stained. But, you know, number one of Werewolf by Night. It's not a valuable comic. But it's cool. And, I mean, it's like old, old paper mixed with farts. Like this, like that a sulfur egg farts. You can't get that anywhere else. It's a delicious fucking aroma. Bam! Ghosts. 25 cent job. Um, once again, in bad shape. Man, I would have, I would have, I would have killed every kid in my neighborhood to get this evil Knievel fucking set up when I was a kid. My parents would not get it for me because we were poor. And uh, I almost want to buy it now, now that I'm not poor. Uh, this sucks because I got it to read and. Some fucking dickless wonder did that for some reason. So, I mean, they're cutting off, like, the beginning of the story. I'll have to use my imagination. Maybe I'll get the, uh, I'll download, like, I'll download, like, the, uh, digital version of it and just read that one page. Look at this. You see that? <laughs> they're just falling apart. Like chunks of the covers fall off. I'm not sure which one that came from. Um, also ghosts. A little later, 40 cents. You know, these aren't worth a lot. They're worth more than a dollar. Once again, I would have I would have just fucking laid waste to my neighborhood to get that when I was a kid. Any fucking BB gun. Um, so yeah, a dollar. This is by far the coolest of the horror shit. The Witching Hour, number 23. Yeah. This isn't in bad shape. That's not bad. I mean, it's obviously not great. There's a water stain right there. You can dig these. You could read that if it wasn't on Facebook backwards. Um, but yeah, I mean, a buck for that. Now! That being said, 
I got some non-horror stuff that I'm going to resell. And one of the like the 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 best condition of any of the ones that I found was um Marvel Premiere number 15, which was the first appearance of Iron Fist. Um, not in great shape, obviously. I mean, it's not fucking near mint. But if it were in fucking mint condition, it would be like fucking fifteen hundred dollars. It's an expensive book. Um, I just based on past eBay sales, I would say that I can sell mine for around fifty. <laughs> for a dollar. So uh, I'm gonna. Cha-ching! Sell that on eBay. I'm just getting warmed up. My nipples are fucking rock hard already. Kawinas Club. Thrift stores. I'm, I'm starting to dig those, man. They're not religious, which is perfect. Because if they were, I wouldn't go to them. And um, they're popping up everywhere, and they're nice, and they're cheap, and they're cleanish. Not that that matters, but, like, it's, you know, they're fucking big. Big. So uh, I went to one out in the middle of the state, and uh, VHS 5 for a dollar. I'm going to show you the big thing that I got there last. It's an exciting thing. You got to stick around. We're doing something live for the first time ever in the history of whatever here. I'll be right back. Now, I got a lot of stuff there uh, VHS wise, five for a dollar um, that wasn't horror. I got two things that weren't horror. And I was scra I was stretching to get that fucking five. I mean, I found some two cool things right off the bat that I was like, these are great. And this is one of them. John Carpenter's Attack on Precinct 13. I've never seen the movie. They say it's the bee's knees, but I've never seen it. You know... I'll get to it. Uh, my mission is to watch every horror movie ever made, so like I don't have a lot of time for stuff that's not horror. Um, this co particular copy was cool. United American Video Corp. They put out some pretty cool, like big clamshell hard case ones. Um, this got like a this got a little dang. Somebody pushed in on the fucking the hole where the reel is. And um, there it is. It's a ding. A ding -a -ling. So, uh, but this is in really good shape. It was partially shrink wrapped otherwise, other than the ding. And uh, fun. For 20 cents, you know? There's that. Just warming up. This, I gotta admit, I just got. Because I w was trying to fill the fucking five. Uh, but look at the pimp stash on Sean Connery in this. Well, look at that. It's like a future post-apocalyptic movie. Uh, Sci-fi shirtless ponytail pimp stash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Look at the man. Washboard stunt. No, not washboard. They didn't, men didn't have those back in those days. It was all about the hair. You didn't have a washboard stomach. You had washboard chest hair in the 70s. That's how we rolled back then when I was a kid. This is fucking cool. But I can't watch it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might sell it. It's also not horror, I guess. I, I, have, I can't find the fucking movie. It's French. 
It's about as cool as anything you'd ever fucking see, just cover-wise. That's, I mean, it's fucking awesome looking. Look at that fucking artwork. Shooting at a car, and fucking helicopter attacking. Um, as far as I can tell, I mean, you can't you can't read this unless you hold it up to a mirror because Facebook sucks. But um, if you could, as far as I could tell, this translates into "suck my greasy French cock, you lazy fat American," or something like that. Not really. I don't, it, it's uh, like new solutions, I think. It translates into the new solution, I think it is. Sounds like a great horror movie. I tried to put it in my fucking, or uh, whatever, action. I mean, I, I might keep it just because it looks fucking cool. I don't know. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what I would price it at to sell it. Uh, I tried to put it in my fucking VCR. And it would not play because it's PAL. And I don't have a PAL VCR. So what am I going to do with it? I'm already tired of rubbing it on my penis. Went to another thrift store. Interesting story. Interesting story. It's not really... But I'm going to say it anyway. Went to a thrift store. A little one. Uh, kind of cool. A lot of weird stuff in there. Um, but I found their VHS section. And immediately, like, there was, it was clear that it was not your typical 50 copies of Titanic and uh, Scarface and whatnot. There was some fucking serious fucking shit in there. All marked for $2, though. That's more than I pay when I'm out, out in the wild. You know, I'm not... I'm not paying $2. I don't want to. I would. For these, I would, but I don't want to. So I grabbed a whole stack of them. And took them up to the counter. And this is a good haggling move for anybody that doesn't like to haggle. You just, like, if the price is stupid, you just go up there and go, like, these aren't really $2, are they? It plants the seed of doubt in their head. They're like, whoa, that must be a ridiculous price. So the, uh, the lady behind the counter was clearly just working there. And she was like, yeah, they are. And I was like, that's a firm $2 on these? And she said, yeah, I mean, we just changed the price from a dollar to two dollars like last week. And right then I was like, I have her hooked. Because <laughs> if, if they just raised the price and one dollar was good enough last week, one dollar will be good enough for me today. She shouldn't have said that. So I was like, well, you know, if I get five, can I get five for a dollar? And she said, I'll text the owner and see if she'll sell them for five for a dollar. And uh, she texts, and she answered right back and said, yeah, sell them for five for a dollar. Some of these are ridiculously, one of these is ridiculously expensive. Um, Two dollars I would have paid. I wouldn't have liked it, but uh, I would have paid it. At least for one of them. Let's go least good to best good. English language I just spoke there. Subspecies. I gotta be honest, I'm not really a fan of this movie. <laughs> but since I got it for a dollar, and it was it was shrink wrapped, but open at the bottom, and the shrink wrap was like squeezing it a little bit, so I, I took it off. So then that just leaves a minty shiny case. Subspecies is not a good movie. Not really. <laughs> Um, but I wanted it. I couldn't leave it there because it was so nice. I might sell it. I don't know. I said last time, I collect. See, where, where I point depends on how close I am to this phone. I collect Night of the Living Dead tapes in all different format, 
different uh, covers, different distribution labels. I said that last time. Pay attention. I found this that I definitely don't have. It might be the most fucking retarded release of it. Because I don't even know what that is supposed to be on the cover. Maybe you can fucking tell me. A tombstone with faces on it or something. Um, this is not a real high quality release of the film. But I collect them all. I don't care. It was worth a dollar to get the platinum release of this with the fucking retarded faces on a tombstone? A head made out of cheese? I don't know what that is. It's like, are those... Is that a Band-Aid cross? Like, they've got a boo-boo on it? I don't know. It's terrible. But I love it. Because I don't have it. Bam! Shadow Creature. I've never seen this movie. It looks terrible. But I love this tape. I don't even want to show you the back because you're going to say that looks fucking ridiculous. But I'm going to. And it looks ridiculous. Look at it. It's like some bodybuilder and lizard. It does. It looks like that that level of <laughs> that level of makeup job. I I tried to find a trailer for this online and I couldn't find a trailer. I just wanted to see the trailer and make fun of it. But um I couldn't find a fucking trailer for this. And an FYI, YouTube plants their fuck plants fucking sponsored shit in their fucking uh, their search results. You can go on Google and search for a trailer for not that specifically because I couldn't find it, but like you can go and search for a trailer or something and just search for videos like through Google and it'll bring up like 50 different fucking trailers. If you go to the fucking YouTube app and type in the same fucking thing, it will fucking it'll bring up like the new Mission Impossible. Doesn't matter what you fucking type in. And like chances are you're not going to find it and think like, "Well, that doesn't exist on fucking YouTube." It does. It's because they're peppering their fucking res their search results with fucking sponsored shit for the cha-ching fucking money. Gay. That's gay. YouTube. I hate YouTube. All you fuckers that aren't following and subscribing to me, you can eat my fucking cock. I hate- I'm gonna just stop posting my videos on YouTube. I hate that fucking thing. There's not one good fucking video to watch on there. Not like this. There's not somebody on here, on there saying like, you motherfuckers can eat my cock. Go look. There's no good horror fucking video videos. Video videos. Horror movie release videos. You gonna fucking watch that fat duder fucking guy? He lost weight, I know. But like, he sucks. <laughs> I can't watch them. I want to watch somebody good on YouTube. I would love if somebody did this and had like just a little bit of personality on YouTube so I could watch stuff. I'm a collector. Facebook's selling my, my connections weak. We're back. Look at this. One dollar. This is the nice release of Phantasm. Other than like, there's like a fucking clamshell that's like, super tits. But uh, look at the condition. It does have a little, that's a little wrinkle here. But mostly, man. It is fucking delicious. For a dollar, or two dollars even. Nice. I already have a copy of this. It is definitely not in this good of condition. Yeah, Mando. Nice. It doesn't even do it justice. All Facebook retarded reversed and shit on here. 
It is fucking tight. Um, I have a copy of this. It's not in this good condition. I will probably sell that one or give it to my friend Dimitri, who's a rabid Phantasm fan. And um, he has this copy, but the tape gave out on him. So I feel bad for him. He's watched it so much. Well, he was... That's how much he loves it. We're getting down there. One more tape. Five for five dollars. We're still at the same thrift store. Don't don't fucking lose me. Don't lose me now. Don't quit on me now. This I can't find. Traces of Death 3. And it is fucking cool. Look at this fucking horror, this green horror sticker. I would spend a lot of money if somebody just was selling those. I would buy a lot of them. It's on the tape, too. Oh, it's so good. X-Rental. Uh, the, the box is in really good shape, except for that faded colored spot. But the rest of it is fucking shiny new. I saw, like, uh, somebody sold, like, a fucking, like, a... A homemade blank tape copy of it and another tape for like 30 bucks on eBay. I can't find this on eBay, which makes me think it's worth a lot of money or nobody cares, but it's probably worth it's probably worth a chunk because people like these kind of things. It's a fa uh, Faces of Death ripoff that clearly made it to at least three, three uh, sequels and uh I don't like these. <laughs> I don't like Faces of Death. I don't like any of the rip-off versions that happened after. I just, like, I find them fucking disturbing. I don't want to, I don't like real violence. I like simulated violence. And I want a story. I don't want to just see random acts of fucking gore. I know they're not fucking real, most of them. Like, most of the fucking gritty parts or practical effects. Um, I don't care, you know, like, I just, I'm going to sell it. I don't enjoy them. I like storytelling. I like movies with stories, a beginning, middle, and an end. And I like intense gore, but it just needs to, like, have a story and not just be, hey, look, there's this guy getting his head eaten by a fucking iguana. Look how gory this is. I mean, that's got, like, supposedly, it says that it has, like, uh, the aftermath of, like, a suicide bombing. I mean, I don't want to fucking see that. One of the worst fucking mistakes I ever made was watching one of those fucking dickless Al-Qaeda guys fucking, like, slit in the throat of American journalists on fucking YouTube. And, like, that stuck fucking with me. It was disturbing as shit. I don't like real gore. I'm not crazy. I just like horror movies. If you like real gore, you might be on your way to being a serial killer. I'm just saying. <laughs> not like me, sane. This is the biggest score at the Quinas Club thrift store. Where they had five for a dollar VHS. They also had this. This little honey. Right here. That would be a Panasonic LaserDisc player. Isn't it cute? It's missing a knob right here. But uh, you can still you can still fast forward manually like you stick your finger in there and like you can still turn it. I'll probably look for a for a knob. Pioneer. What did I say? <laughs> yeah, it's Pioneer. This is the exciting part. First, I'll tell you the story. It had two two price stickers on it. Before that, leading up to this. They had a uh, Go Go Video Dual Deck VHS Dubber in there. I have one of those, 
but I love them, and they were only it was only priced five dollars. So I was like, I'll get a fuck another one just to have on reserve. I uh, I tested it; it did not fucking work, and ate a tape that I was might have bought, <laughs> but I didn't after that. Um, then they had a top loading v- VCR um, that was really fucking cool because it must have been like the last of the top loading VCRs. Uh, it had, instead of, um, like the big clunky buttons, it had like the flat digital buttons like this laser disc player does. Like the flat buttons that barely fucking, you just tap them. I guess they're electronic and not fucking mechanical, is what I'm trying to say. Um, also did not work. That was $5. Then I found this. I'm pointing at the, the laser disc player behind me, in front of me. Um... And it had two price stickers on it that said $5. So I thought, you can't test a Laserdisc player. I used to carry a Laserdisc around with me, but since we moved, I don't know where it is. Um, just for the case that <laughs> if I find one, I'll be able to like run out to the car, grab it, just like a shitty fucking non-nothing tape or a Laserdisc that I don't care about. Um, and then run out to the car, grab it, test it, to see if it works before I buy it. Well, this was $5. I plugged it in, it powered on, the drawer came out to load and unload in and out. Um, and that's as far as I could test. So, I took it up, I was like $5. The cheapest I've ever I've ever found one was $25. Um, no, that's not true. I got one for a dollar once at a fucking bargain barn Goodwill. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't like this. It wasn't as nice. Um, so yeah, $5. I was like, either way, I don't give a shit. I'm taking it up. I'll fucking buy it. Um, I'll test it later. I'll take the fucking risk. I took it up and the lady was like, how much is that? And I was like, it's $5. And then as I was saying that, I noticed that the price stickers were like kind of folded over and they were like hiding the one that was in front of the five making it a $15 item. Now, I would have paid that anyway, because it's still the second cheapest laser disc player that I've ever found. Um, but I was like, oh, I thought it was $5. Like, you know, has this been tested? And she was like, I'll tell you what, I'll split the difference with you, and I'll give it to you for 7 And I was like, sold! American! Here's my fucking cash! I can't get out of here fast enough with this thing. So, this is the exciting part that we're doing only live on Facebook. It's not that exciting. It's exciting! I haven't tested this yet. I've cleaned it. But I'm going to test it here. For you assholes. And, uh... I say that, like, with the most endearing tone when I call you assholes. <laughs> Sort of. Um, so we're going to test it live and see if it fucking works. I have not tested it. I have a TV set up. I'm going to spin you around. There's a TV. A good old CRT ready to go. There is the Laserdisc player. I'm going to power it on. We have a copy of Serpent and the Rainbow, Wes Craven. My connection's weak. We'll wait for it to catch up. We cannot miss a second of this. Powering it on. Look what it does. Look at that. It made that screen blue. That's a good sign. That means we're going to hit the open button. Oh, look at it. It's dusty, though. It's dusty. And it closed. It closed automatically. All right. We're going to have to plan this out. Let's get out this copy of Wes Craven. Wes Craven's Serpent in the Rainbow. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Look how small it is. It's tiny. All right. We got to do this fast. 
I'm gonna hit open again. Oh no! It didn't open. That is not good, people. Let's try it again. Open. Oh, come on. No! The one thing that I tested, the one thing that I tested at the store that worked, and now it's not working. Let's try it again. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, there it is, people. <laughs> I'm not going to try to fix it now. <laughs> That sucks. I tested that in the store. It opened like a fucking champ. Damn. Damn, Ando. Where did I go wrong? Maybe I can fix it. I know nothing about that shit. <laughs> Guess what, people? I'm fucked! Take my $7. What are you going to do? The rest of the weekend was great. It just got a little less great right now. But it happens. It's all part of being a scrounger. Sometimes you eat the bear. Sometimes the bear takes down your pants and Sticks it right in your asshole without any lube. I think that's how that saying goes. Well, my asshole hurts right now, people. Fuck. I gotta go cry myself to a fucking nap. Everybody. That's all for this week. Next Tuesday at 2, stop back by. I'll be here. I'll make muffins. The fuck out of my house. Damn it.